statues. They look like people. Ah! Also, just like with people, there are some that are more evil than others. Also, also, just like with people, some just can't seem to sit still. There's nothing worse than walking around, seeing a statue, believing it's gonna remain statuesque, and then having those expectations fall apart before your very eyes. It's just not right. Statues shouldn't be doing all that movement, especially if they're gonna be evil, not to mention scary while doing so. Hello, horror heads, and welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos. I'm your horror host, Keegan Hughes, and today we're counting down the top five scary evil statues caught moving. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more Marble Madness. Perfect, let's begin. Coming in at number five, we've got Snow White statue blinking. In a less affluent neighborhood in Mexico, there's a park. And in that park sit eight statues. One for each of the famous fairy tale dwarves and their fearless feminine leader, Snow White. Now, rumor has it that there was something odd about these figures, but nobody could really explain why. So a camera person decided to take it upon themselves to enter the park at night and tape the band of merry miscreants. The footage reveals exactly why people were so creeped out by the statues. They're dirty, decrepit, and really creepy just to begin with. We are well into the uncanny valley with these characters. They don't look like people or Disney style cartoons. They just look like creepy, filthy lawn gnomes. And that's not even looking at Snow White with her big bug eyes wide open staring into your soul. Michelangelo's, these are not. So once the camera person gets their lens on the apple-eating songstress, they focus in on her. They've noticed something odd that captures their attention more than any of the dwarves. It lingers on her creepy face and then BAM! She blinked. Her statue eyelids came down over her plaster eyes and returned to their point of origin. Run for your lives. And so the camera person does. They hoof it out of there like they just saw a librarian on Returns Day. Check it out. Later, the footage was aired in a local news program, and the journalists behind the show decided to visit the park themselves. They interviewed a local man who claims that some 20 odd years ago, the park was a cemetery. Apparently, plenty of folks came to retrieve their deceased family members, but some bodies remained. This little tidbit gives life to the possibility that the area could be haunted by the ghost of a forgotten person buried beneath the earth. But what could the blinking mean? Is it a cry for help? Or someone flexing their horror movie editing muscles before going to the press with it? Hard to say. Coming in at number four, we've got Crack the Whip. Children are arguably the scariest iteration of humanity. Senseless, remorseless, vicious people. So turn some kids into a group of statues at a cemetery and you've got a recipe for some hauntings. At the Sunset Hills Cemetery in Flint, there's a group of statues known as Crack the Whip. Eight children playing the popular childhood game where you hold hands in a line and try to whip your friends off the end. They're there cast in bronze. At the end of the proverbial whip is a little girl who's missing a shoe. The little bronzed sandal can be found a few feet back, nestled in the grass. Legend has it that anyone who tries to put the shoe on and has it fit will experience something terrible. And some suggest it might even be deadly. A scary urban legend on its own, sure, but what's a legend without an apparently true story to add to it? It's been said that the statue was donated by the grandfather of a little girl who unfortunately lost her life playing that very game. Her and seven friends were whipping around and she lost her grip, stumbling into oncoming traffic. The drivers on the road couldn't react fast enough and she was struck by a car and killed. Ever since then, people have heard moans coming from around the statues, along with giggles and rustling of grass. Could it be that when your foot fits in the girl's shoe, she returns for it? Maybe she invites the lucky Cinderella to play a quick game with her. Maybe that game turns fatal. These kids aren't the only statues in the cemetery either. Visitors often mistake the carvings and busts for real people, and for whatever reason, these kids are the most common perpetrators. Coming in at number three, we've got the Manchester Museum statue. A few years back, some security footage absolutely baffled and terrified staff at the Manchester Museum. An ancient Egyptian statue could be seen in its glass case slowly turning throughout the day. Watch it happen. Even when nobody was at the museum, it would continue on its rotation. The clear footage and transparent glass enclosure made sure that no one was mistaking it. The statue was moving on its own. Soon the news made it to the public and all sorts of folks weighed in. A popular theory is that it was an ancient curse. By moving on its own in plain sight, was it trying to communicate with the public? Trying to lure innocent people in? Dr. Campbell Price, curator of the museum, says that there were several supernatural explanations, but Egyptian stuff usually attracts that. It turns out that it was happening thanks to vibrations coming from the nearby road. The base of the structure was slightly convex, making it susceptible to the spinning effect. This made it so the statue in question could turn around and around, while others stayed stock still. Or maybe, 
that's just what it wants you to think. Coming in at number two, we've got the statue of Blythewood Mansion. If you've ever been south of Albany, you might have heard about Blythewood Mansion. These days it's been converted into offices for Bard College, but it was once the summer home of a Captain Andrew C. Zabriskie. A captain in the National Guard, Zabriskie made quite a fortune on real estate. He used his money to buy some land, previously named Blythewood, and build a luxurious estate. Upon the completion of the building, he commissioned four statues, one for each of his daughters. These statues stood there for some time, unmoving, but one day one suddenly disappeared. At first, no one had an explanation for the sudden demanifestation of the seemingly stoic statue, however, some dots were connected and a very disturbing reason was found. You see, the statue disappeared around the time of a very sad event. One of Zabriskie's daughters was staying at the family apartment in New York City. She met with a grisly fate that day when she fell from the window to her death. To this day, it's uncertain whether it was an accident or if foul play was involved. After her funeral, the statue disappeared, and it's been said that she now roams the grounds as the statue itself. And lastly, at number one, the crone. Let this one be a lesson to you all. If you find a creepy statue in the middle of nowhere, just leave it alone. You'll thank me later. So a few years back, Reddit user Wigged Hiker Thurway posted about finding a weird statue in a cave. He and his friend had been out hiking and decided to take a lesser known route. In doing so, they stumbled upon a wooden idol with nails in its eyes and a rope around its neck. This freaked the lads out because they had heard stories of devil worshippers frequenting the area. For reasons unknown to me, the friend took the statue home, even though he was super freaked out by it. From there, weird stuff started happening. The statue would move from whatever spot they left it and weird smells would appear out of nowhere. Something akin to dank pond water. Banging noises would prevent any sleep in the house, and one time there was even a knock at the door with nobody on the other side. The event that pushed the friend too far though was when he awoke to the sound of his dog freaking out. Going to check to see what was going on, he was surprised to see muddy footprints all over his house. All the doors were still locked and every window was shut, so it couldn't have been something coming in from outside. Seeing the idol, he approached it and heard raspy breathing noises. This was enough to send him packing and stay at his hiking buddy's place for a bit. After reaching out to the good folks at r slash paranormal, the hiking duo was eventually connected with Greg Newkirk of the Traveling Museum of the Paranormal and Occult. After hearing that the guys had seen a full-bodied apparition of a soaking wet old woman crouching in the corner, he took the newly named Crone statue with him. The weirdness continued, even under new ownership, pulling Jesus off a crucifix, keeping up the phantom knocking, leaving wet footprints and everything, and at one point getting caught on a motion-activated camera. Now, say it with me. I won't take the creepy statue home with me. So, cursed statues or elaborate hoaxes? What's your favorite statue story? Have you ever seen anything like this in real life? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more malignant ones from the top five scary SCPs nobody understands. ST Dan says, cheers for the video, Keegan. I don't think I've been tuning into any other channel as much. BTW, thanks to you and Lucy, I wrote a fantastic college entry essay and I'm now getting an unconditional placement. I wrote about some horror books and 500 words on 28 days later and wreck. Looks like I'm finishing my degree. Hey, congrats. Sounds like a wicked essay. Good luck in all your educational endeavors. Must be a cool school if you got in writing about horror. Ryan Prater says, imagine transferring into a Game Boy lol. It's been my dream since I was eight years old. Somebody's gotta do it. Matthew Hoffman says, in computer science, a pointer is an object that stores a memory address, what it points to. For SCP-2719, the concept of inside is the address being stored by the pointer. It can point to both pure ideas and physical objects slash beings slash locations. If something became inside, it is now the address. If something went inside, it is now the value being stored at the address. So when the car was the original address being pointed to and the D-Class went inside, they became the values stored inside the car. When the concept of O5 became inside and Dr. Zermelo went inside, he was now stored inside the concept of O5, thus giving him an ill-deserved promotion. Well, that makes a lot more sense, to be honest. So I guess I gotta change the title of that video to Top 4 Scary SCPs No One Understands. James Vance says, To understand that which is ununderstandable is in of itself impossible to understand. Try saying that five times fast. MadDag420 says, love the videos, keep them up and stay safe. Thanks MadDag, stay frosty out there. And that's all the time we have for today. Before I don my shrink wrap helmet and enter the sauna, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more moving and a shaking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Banging noises would prevent any <laughs> Banging noises. <laughs> Seeing the idol, he approached it and heard <laughs> Bug eyes wide open, staring into your soul. What is going on? They hoof it out of there like they saw. <laughs> they don't look like people or Disney style cartoons. They just, I don't know if that noise got picked up. I'm just gonna try it again. So once the camera person gets their lens on the apple eating, God.